In this equation, we have HNO3 plus H2S. Let's count the atoms up on each side and balance the equation. We have one hydrogen plus we have these two hydrogens here. So we have a total of three hydrogen atoms. We have one nitrogen, oxygen, three, and then one sulfur. On the product side, we have the two hydrogens, one nitrogen, one oxygen, plus the one here. So we have two oxygens and then one sulfur. Let's see. Well, we have a problem here because we have this odd number of hydrogens here and an even number here, and then the oxygen's an odd and an even. Let's put a two in front of the HNO3 because that should make the hydrogens and the oxygens both even numbers. That should really help us balance. So when we do that, we need to update the hydrogens and the oxygens on the reactant side here. So now we have one times two, two hydrogens plus two hydrogens here. That'll give us four hydrogen atoms. Nitrogens, one times two. Now we have two nitrogens and that oxygen here, three times two, that gives us six oxygen atoms. But now these are even numbers. That should make it a little easier to balance. Let's see, why don't we do the hydrogen first? Because we could just put a two in front of the H2O. Two times two, that gives us four hydrogens. Those are balanced. And then we have the one here, plus we have the one times the two, so now we have three oxygen atoms. Why don't we balance the nitrogens and see what that does? So we could put a two in front of the NO3, one times two, that would give us two nitrogens and those would be balanced. We can update our oxygens here again. We have one times two plus the one times two here. So now we have four. We're so close, but it's still not balanced because these numbers aren't equal. I could change either the two here in front of the NO or the two in front of the H2O to a four, and that would end up giving me six oxygens. It would change the hydrogens, but we gotta do something. So let's try that. Let's change the two in front of the water. So we make that a four, and now we're gonna update our hydrogen and our oxygen. For the oxygen, we have one times two, two plus one times the four. That gives us six oxygen. So we did balance the oxygen atoms. Now we need to update the hydrogens. We have two times four, that gives us eight hydrogen atoms. So how do we fix the hydrogens? Because we have hydrogens here and here. It looks like if I put a three in front of the H2S, that'd be two times three is six plus one times two. Six plus two would give me eight. That would balance them. So let's do that. We would need to update the hydrogens and the sulfur. So for the hydrogens, we have one times two, that's two, plus two times three, that's six, so that's updated. And then for the sulfur, we have the one times the three, that gives us three sulfurs. But actually that's okay, sulfur is all by itself. So if I put a three here, one times three, that'll give me three sulfur atoms. And we have balanced this equation. It's kind of a difficult equation because we have H's here and here, and then we have oxygens, separately. So when we change one of these, it kind of messes with other things. You just need to work through and try different things until you get it to balance. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for HNO3 plus H2S, and thanks for watching.